Hello YouTube, this is Ken Pocalypse, and today, you know, I'm going to show you my new purchase. It's the Vizio M series. Anyway, I, I went with the M series because, you know, I looked at a couple of them. I looked at the uh, X900E Sony, which is a great TV in its right, but it's also, you know, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. I looked at the uh, Sony X850. Uh, which was a decent looking TV, but when it come to ratings and everything, uh, the uh, the Vizio M series actually beat it out in a lot of the stuff, especially since um, that the M series has local dimming, and the uh, the Sony uh, X850 does not. Uh, they start at the 900, then the 930, 940. Um, well, I think it's actually last year's 940 didn't have local dimming, but the 900 and the 930 did. But I wasn't going, you know, I wasn't willing to sacrifice that extra little bit to get, you know, uh, the Sony brand name pretty much. And um, so I went with the uh, the uh, Vizio M series 65 inch. Uh, of course, it's the X uh, HDR VA panel which gives it, you know, deeper blacks and stuff like that. Of course, it's not going to be OLED black, but, I mean, it's still going to give you good blacks. And uh, then they got the um, the 8, uh, the octa-core processor in it, uh, which is great for 4K and HDR. Um, and also, this TV supports Dolby Vision. The Sony's, uh, even the 900 doesn't support Dolby Vision, and I think the uh, update for Dolby Vision for them is going to be for the 930 and their OLED line. Um, which, you know, uh, ironic enough that their OLED panels are made by LG, just like Panasonic OLED panels are uh, made by LG. So, I mean, because LG ha actually has the patent on it. Um, that's how come they can, you know, promote the OLEDs the way they do. And uh, um, I actually uh, bought a uh, Samsung Q6F um, a couple days ago at Best Buy and I returned it because um, it, it was just oversaturated with color. I know Samsung's known for saturation, but it was actually oversaturated. Uh, their faces looked blurry uh, at some points, uh, even on uh, HDR. Um, also, um, it had uh, somewhat of a color gamut. I wouldn't say it was a wide color gamut because some of the color seemed out of place. Uh, wasn't as bright as a uh, the MU8000 uh, Sony, I mean Samsung that I had. Um, so, when, and all they said was that they took the the MU800 um, Samsung and put the QLED technology behind it, and they're selling it as a Q6. Um, which you know, if if you're in the Samsung and you're diehard Samsung, uh, I really wouldn't buy the, the Q6F again. Uh, just for the simple fact of um, there's no local dimming for one and on some things like I was watching Bright on Netflix and um, it seemed like uh, the blacks were okay uh, when you had light in the picture because you know Samsung's known for brights um, when you had lights like the police lights I mean it looked good for the lights and everything but when you had a dark scene and you're trying to watch something, it, the the blacks look kind of grayed out because the picture was trying to be so bright. And if you took the HDR off, I'm sorry, not the HDR, but if you try to take the the uh, dimming feature, which they don't have local dimming and they don't have a full array black backlight, but they use uh, what they call it's called optic dimming, and uh, what they do is they use a technology to where they try to dim the panels. Uh, I think it has 16 panels. It tries to dim them uh, in a way that it doesn't have to have a backlight, and it does a really poor job. Um, I noticed it when I saw it. I noticed there was a lot of color bleed through too, where uh, it was trying to be so bright. Um, so, I mean, I took it back, and you know, I, I've researched this one before I even bought the uh, the Samsung uh, Q6. I, I researched this TV. I mean, it's it's been months I've been researching it, and a couple of my past videos, even from six, seven months ago, um, you can go back and watch. And, you know, I, I've had nothing but good things to say about this TV. Um, 
I actually run into, I mean, this was a good deal. I mean, $949 for a 65 inch and it's an M series. And I mean, it's got a full color spectrum. It's, uh, it's um, got the, uh, like I said, the octa-core processor. Uh, it's also, it's a smart TV, uh, but it's got smart cast. It don't have a lot of apps, uh, but the ones that it does have are, you know, it, it's pretty much, you know, Netflix, um, Hulu, things like that. The most common ones. You're not going to find an internet browser or anything on it. So um, if that's what you're looking for, I mean, you, you might want to spend an extra three, four hundred dollars and and get another one. But I mean, you're still at four, three or four hundred more dollars. You're looking at buying a 55 inch TV and uh, not a 65 anyway. Um, I mean, you're probably looking at uh, 17, 1800 to two grand to get a, a 65 inch that has, you know, a lot of features like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm basic. I, I got this because I'm going to watch UHD movies on it. I'm going to play my PlayStation 4 on it. Um, and, uh, you know, as for a display, they say you can't beat a Vizio display. Um, yeah, it's a Vizio name, and yes, it's priced cheaper. But the quality of the picture, they say, is outstanding. And I'll upload a video um, a little later on in the week showing, you know, my settings and what I think of it and you know, give you a review on it and, uh, and see if it was, you know, well worth the hype and, uh, and, uh, just, just let you know, I mean, 949, you, you can't really go wrong for a 65 inch, especially when it's got, uh, HDR, Dolby wow. Vision and HDR 10. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's it for now. Um, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and share my videos. Thank you.